watching those lions, and when I came in today, I put a little thing of good luck in the lion's mouth. And so what I'm hoping is that maybe people in Washington, D.C. can get along if we bring that lion out with us. Um, we also, of course, have to pass the DREAM Act next week, uh, which is really important to our immigrant community. And I just want to first of all tell you how pleased I am to be here with your principal, uh, Principal Joe, uh, with all of these incredible students. You have 300 kids in this program, is that right? Um, and just with the joyous spirit you see uh, in this room. So we need to do more to promote our Chinese and our immigrant community in Minnesota. I always like to remind people that 25% of our U.S. Nobel laureates were born in other countries. Did you know that? 70 of our Fortune 500 companies in the United States of America are headed up by immigrants, right? Uh, so this is a big part of Minnesota's strength, and you are right there in the middle. And we know uh, that working with China, we think of all the business that our state does with China, is a major part of our economy. So as we go into the Olympics, are you guys watching the Olympics? Yeah, that was pretty cool. I think we have like our one of our Olympic champions. You want to stand up right here in the front row? Pretty cool. Um, uh, as we go into the Olympics, we're able to see China, we're able to see uh, Co South Korea, we're able to see the U.S., and we see, if anyone watched those opening ceremonies, how they all formed that dub. Did you see that in the opening ceremonies of the Olympics? Uh, that we must work with the rest of the world. And this school, while it's really important for the kids to learn Chinese and to understand that culture, we must see it as part of America's bigger mission uh, to work with the rest of the world uh, because our country has always been a melting pot and we are so proud that you're part of it. So let's keep wearing red, let's put some good fortune in the lion's mouth, uh, and let's go out there and support your community. Thank you everybody, have a great day. Thank you. I still can't believe Amy is here! So from our school, we have a special gift for you, Amy. This is a Chinese paper cutting. And it's originally, this folk art is originated from China, sixth uh, century, sixth century. Back to, uh, originally in China. And this is a pickup with particular cheese for Amy. Peacock is a symbol in Ming Dynasty. It represents divinity, power, rank, and beauty. We hope it brings luck and prosperity for you. From International Chinese School, we wish you all the best. 2018! Thank you so much. I know, I actually, um, I got to go to China with Senator McCain, with John McCain, a few years ago, and I saw some of these peacocks, and now I have one myself, and I know what it means. So, thank you very much, everyone. This means a lot. Thank you. We have a lot of gift. The University of Minnesota Asian Languages and Literatures Department Chinese Language Program and Chinese Flagship Program would like to present a gift to the Senator this is a handmade Chinese bird calligraphy artwork. We wish you good fortune and happiness for the new year. Thank you for supporting the Chinese. Okay, so this is a traditional Chinese calligraphy work that is uh, made in gold embossing. And then the words on there, it means uh, fortune and happiness with your name on it. And uh, actually this calligraphy is also special because it's bird calligraphy. You can see for each stroke, it's a bird's shape. Yes. Uh -huh. So uh, University of Minnesota.